Hello, my name is Sean Brady and welcome to the Mecca YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a look for you and an unboxing of a bunch of beautifully gifted items that I can't wait to show you. I would tell you what look I'm going to do, but I don't really know yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my base. Obviously, I've already exfoliated with my Tatcha Rice Exfoliant and then used the Sturm Moisturizer. And then I'm going to go into using... So I've got the Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, but I'm going to use it just as like a primer on my skin it's the Urban Decay one, just because it is winter at the moment and I hate looking dry. I'm gonna let that sink into my soul. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with, I'm just gonna get started on the skin. I'm gonna use, I should have noticed this, I've only ever read it, Chanticale Future Skin. This is it here. I don't like a heavy finish on my skin. I like it to look like skin and that's the whole premise of this product. And well, I've got some on my finger there. I'm just trying to do a bunch of little spots all over the shop. I don't usually put foundation all over my face. And then I know it seems really like rudimentary to just tap around like that, but I don't know, it's just the way I've always done it. And I know it's looking a little fair for me, but I'm gonna add color to my face later and I would rather be a touch fair. And can I also say shout out to YouTubers doing it like this and not like directly seeing yourself. That's a real skill. Yeah, so I'm a finger application person. I just feel like I get a way more natural result. This is my kind of coverage. I'm gonna get straight into my eye because I'm an eye focused makeup artist. That's my favorite thing to do. I'm using this Ellis Fast. And that's the applicator there. That's sort of the color. Before I start applying that, I'm gonna get a brush ready. Eye defining brush. So I'm just trying to fang it on the way that you would traditionally sort of describe this sort of finish would be more like a matte sort of lipstick. My process of a makeup artist, I feel like I just get sort of messy with it. I think people get really scared about like, I don't want to try new things because it just makes a mess, but it's always so salvageable. I'm going to take that right into the inner corner. So this sort of outward shape that I'm doing, I feel like it always makes me feel really, you know, it's snatched. You know, in the world of Bella Hadid, that's never a bad thing, right? I'm gonna blend out this bottom bit so it's not so hard of a line. Well, now we're gonna try and replicate that, so bear with me. Might get a bit of view of what I'm, what I'm doing. The thing that people get really worried about is they get so caught up on like, oh, it's not symmetrical, like, it's not gonna work, da 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 da. Nothing's like perfectly symmetrical. So I just wouldn't, I would take that out of your mind. People aren't gonna be like, oh my God, that is two millimeters higher than that side. This is more like a clubbing nighttime kind of look for me. I'm just trying to do my water lines. I'm just trying to use this stuff because the way that it's drying and the lack of transfer that I'm getting off of it when I touch it is like really strong. So I'm just gonna try it. Just gonna put it on my water lines and just hope for the best. Now I'm gonna move on to, I'm gonna put some colors in there. I'm gonna use the Morphe 358 Up Till Dawn Artistry Palette. I think it's going to be like a sunrise set of colors. So these are the different colors. I think I wanna use the Midnight Splash and I think I'm gonna work some pink in there somehow. So I've got that Midnight Splash and I'm gonna go in in these corners. Now that's giving it so much more definition. So I'm gonna do the other side. And before anyone says uncut gems, I've been doing this as my sort of clubbing eyes for years. So keep it to yourself. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my Q-tips and remove. So I'm gonna cut out a shape here. And now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna get the angled brow liner and I'm gonna get, this is the Rose Ink Luminous Hydrating Concealer. So this is it here. I'm gonna get it a bit on my angled brush and I'm just going to cut out that area. Usually I'm not someone who does the whole conceal around the lines of the makeup, but the reason I'm doing it now is just so I can get a payoff from that pink. So I think I'm gonna go with maybe Flame Desire. Maybe blend out with one of those. Oh, uh, no, I'm going with Dancel. And I'm just gonna layer her up. I'm just gonna do a touch of this back here. I 
Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side and spare you the details of doing that. But now I'm gonna move on to the Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. And this is by Charlotte Tilbury, the famed Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, that's really pretty too. Okay, so that is the pan. I got the more fair shade, I'm quite, I'm quite fair. And I just, I really, 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 really think don't just do your contour a certain way because you've seen someone else do it. It's very, very personalized. Oh, that is so light and blendy. So I just sort of go more right under that cheekbone. So now what I'm going to move on to, I might do my blush. So for the blush, I am going to use the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. And this is the shade Sun Drenched. Okay, well, I'm just going to put this on. Let me just see how it goes. Oh wow, I like that look. Again, I'm just using my fingers. Wait, see, it goes a long freaking way, hey. Now I guess we're gonna move on to the lip. So I've got a few different colors to choose from. I think poise might be a little heavy, so I'm gonna go with the started. So this is the refillable one. I'm too lazy to put it in the package, so I'm just gonna put it on my lips. Oh, I love that color. It's almost like my own color. And then I'm gonna go with the Mecha Max with the Gloss Bus Lip Gloss. They tried to get me with that one. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, you know what? I might just do a little bit of um, my brow. So I'm gonna get the Westman Atelier Bone Brow Defining Pencil. Oh, I love these angled ones. As you can see that it's those sharp corners, you can really sort of do blind. And I'm gonna bring this down. I like when my eyebrows face a little bit more down. You can get to this sort of stage in the game, but you know what, I don't like it. So I'm going to go like this. So, so much better. It's all about experimentation for me. I've decided this almost when I thought I was done and I'm so much happier with it. Oh, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Tidy up a bit more. And tidy up that area. I'm gonna get that, that same concealer in there, that rose in one. Now I'm actually gonna go change my hair and make it a bit more night timey and put on something a little more dramatic. Okay, so now that I'm looking like an extra from Star Trek meets X-Men. And I'm ready to go. I think that's me done with the look. So I've used a little bit of everything. I really loved using the Ellis Fuss. I, I mean, I've just never really used a product like that before, so I'm really into it. And it also goes with my spacey sort of theme. A one, ha ha. So I think that this is my finished look. Thank you, Mecca, for turning me into an evil prince of space.